What's up, trendsetter gang? This is um, a video about the um, mucoid plaques. I told y'all I was doing a mucoid. Um, I was going to do a mucoid plaque detox. Um, these are the ingredients. You have the psyllium husk here. Um, you have the activated charcoal. You have bentonite clay. You have lemons, which we're going to use um, for lemon juice. And you have the chia seeds. This is that video, okay? I told y'all I'm loving on myself. Um, I bought makeup. I did a makeup haul. I'm doing a mucoid plaque detox. Um, and I'm going to do some other things later on that I'm going to share with you that is a part of my self-care journey. Um, and just doing for self. Um, I've done for so many people for so many years, and I just think it's time for me to do me like wholeheartedly, just do my do me um without making any apologies for myself, um, and without thinking of anybody else because I think it's just time. It's needed. My daughter was like, Mama, it's time for you to do that. So um, and not that I needed her to tell me, but she recognizes how much I've done even for her and, you know, for other people and it's my turn now. So anyway, um, we're going to do two, um, oh, also, and I forgot to tell y'all my crystal, Sorry, the crystal geyser water, the spring water is also a part of the detox. Um, so we're going to do two cups of the spring water. We're going to do two tablespoons of the psyllium husk. We're going to do um, one tablespoon of the chia seeds. We're going to do two tablespoons of the bentonite clay. Um, two capsules, which I have here, of the activated activated charcoal and then we're going to do one tablespoon of the lemon juice okay all right let's get started oh and here's my mason jar yeah okay so let's get started so i'm gonna take some of this stuff off of the table so we can well, I'll leave it on. Let me see if I can leave it. Okay, so we're doing two cups of the spring water right now. And I'm going to do the activated charcoal. I'm going to go ahead on and put it in here. The two capsules. There it is. And then here, co here goes capsule number two. Ooh, come on out of there. Okay. What did I do with my other towel? Oh, there you go. Okay. So then after that, um, <coughs> I can put these up. Let me get my spoon. Let's go and mix this up like so, like that. I 
I'm going to put the psyllium husk in last because I think that may be good. Okay, and we're going to do two tablespoons of, oh, one tablespoon of chia seeds. One tablespoon of chia seeds. We're going to do one tablespoon of the lemon juice. Let's go and get that in here. Okay, these seeds about to get on my nerves. Ah! Got, we got one tablespoon of the lemon juice. We got that. We got it. And then we're getting ready to do the bentonite clay. We're getting ready to do two tablespoons of the bentonite clay. So that's one right here. I like to hit it on the, the inside of the top of the jar to even it out. That's one. And this two. Gotta mix it kind of fast because it seems like it's trying to get stuck. You gotta move kind of fast with it. I'm gonna take it off the table, but this is Vincent Clay. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of the psyllium husk. That's one. Okay, so we're going to do um, a second tablespoon of the psyllium husk. Now, um, this is, um, I haven't had a colonic. I feel like this is true to the life, um, to life as far as detoxes. Everybody talks about drinking detox water, like lemon water and lime water. And those are good and they help, but baby, you need something to get down up in there too. I feel like the lemon and lime water is good. Don't sleep on that. Please don't. It's definitely good, but I feel like you need to um, understand what, you know, what this really does. This goes into the small intestine and the large intestine. 
and it pulls out gunk. It's going to stick to the walls of my small intestine and my large intestine. It's going to bring that stuff out. Now, it, I hear from everybody saying that they, they did it. It might have hurt their stomach. I don't know if it's going to hurt mine, but I don't care. As long as it's cleaning stuff out, girl, I do not care. This is the this is how it looks. This is the consistency of it. So it's gonna form around it's gonna form around the fecal matter in my large and small intestines, and it's gonna pull it right on up out of there. See, look at that. That's the consistency. So it's gonna hold on. The charcoal is gonna help pull it out. The bentonite clay. It's forming like a mucusy type of consistency. To grab a hold of the fecal matter to bring it out and I'm gonna keep y'all updated every time something happens I go to the bathroom I'm gonna show y'all and keep y'all updated I'm gonna try to keep a journal um so I know what's going on from day to day I gotta write down what day oh I got some on me ah I'm gonna write down what day um today is the 22nd so I will be done with this um what is it? It's June 22nd, so I think I'm going to be, I ain't going to say I'm going to be done with it because I want to take this, for, I want to do this for three months, but I'm going to do it in one month intervals. And so, um, but it's going to be three months um, back to back. I may take a two day break and then go back at it again for the next month, do the same thing, then try it again the next month because I got, I'm sure I got a lot of fecal matter. So let me taste it and see how it's going to be. Y'all, it tastes like nothing. It doesn't have a taste, but it's just weird. The consistency feels, it's like snot. It's like, it just makes me frown because of the way it feels in my mouth. That's why I don't eat oatmeal because it's all gooey and stuff. And this is how it's like that gooey consistency. But I'm going to drink it. It doesn't have a bad taste or a good taste. It doesn't have a taste at all. But the way it feels in my mouth, that's what I'm frowning about. Somebody said do this twice a day. I don't know about that. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I should do it twice a day. I'm going to try one and see how that fares. And if... um, I don't want to do two and then I'm just going to the bathroom unbelievably. And I can't stop or something. I don't want to do that. Mm. And with the chia seeds, they just taste, it just tastes all gooey. It's like really gooey. Mm. So y'all seeing it on camera, this is my first day. It is June 22nd, 2020. And it's time for y'all to level up and get this mucoid plaque cleansed and get it done. I can't wait to see what comes out of me. Like, I'm going to document this. Um, I'm going to try to show it to y'all on camera. I know it's going to be gross, but I want to show y'all what it does. And I'm going to document how I'm feeling from day to day so you guys can know what's going on. Okay? So, yeah. <clears throat> and I'm, I think I'm going to give y'all weekly updates. Or, yeah, whenever, you know, probably weekly updates to let you know what's going on. Let me stir this up a little bit. You can tell it's going to hold on to the fecal matter inside of me because... The consistency in, with it, um, the consistency that it is, it's, it's like grabbing the chia seeds. If you can tell it, I don't know if you can see it, but when I stir it, those chia seeds are not going anywhere. I know that's weird, but yeah, this is this is it, y'all. I'm drinking the whole glass. I should have got a bigger glass because I seen the guy, he did a bigger glass, but 
this is what I got, and I'm going to go with it for now. Um, but I'm getting ready to do this Muco play. And it may be good enough for me, I mean, because of my statue. So, but we're going to see. Mm. Way it go down. Ooh, yeah, it doesn't have a taste. Concealium husk doesn't have a taste. It's just like they said on YouTube, like the other YouTubers were saying that it doesn't have a taste. It doesn't have a bad taste. It doesn't have no taste at all. It's just gooey in my mouth. And it's just like weird. I just don't like that going down. I hate it. People say, do you eat Jello? No, I don't. I mean, I do. It doesn't bother me. Jello doesn't bother me because it's not that consistency of Jello. This is like a weird. You gotta taste it to know what I'm talking about. I mean, not taste it, but put it. You know, drink it and let it go down and see what I'm talking about when you swallow it. It's like really weird, but you know. And bentonite clay is also gonna get around it and get around the fecal matter and hold it. Cause it's a clay, but it's a mineral clay. It's okay to drink. It's okay, y'all tripping, but it's it's good to use it on your hair. It's it makes a great hair mask. I might do a video on that. You talking about straighten your hair like a perm and clean it and get all of that gunk and build up off of it. I've already done it and I did it with some um apple cider vinegar and you can't use metal. You have to use like a plastic spoon for with the mix of the apple cider vinegar because the apple cider vinegar mixes with um with the bentonite clay. It, it causes some type of reaction, so you have to use a plastic spoon instead of the um, metal spoon. But yeah, whoo. Hmm. I can't wait to see what's going to come out of me. I can't wait. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I finished it. That's everything. So let's see what happens. I can't wait to see what happens. Oh my God. Yeah, so, um, who I feel like I want to bite on this lemon. But yeah, it doesn't have a taste. You got to try it for yourself. It's just gooey and jelly. But if you ever had something that didn't have a taste like that thick water, it was thick like that. It had the consistency, but it doesn't have a taste. So you have to, you know, have to taste it yourself. But I like lemon, y'all. But um, the consistency is what got me. That was right. It don't have no taste. That was way right about that. So I hope you guys like this video. <clears throat> I hope you try this for yourself. Mm. I hope you try it for yourself. And I hope it works for you. I hope you like it. I ordered all of this 
at um I ordered all of this at um Vitacost. Um Vitacost.com. And I told y'all um it's the a total of everything, the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. That's this the Bentonite. Oh God, I spilled it on my computer. Oh, oh this is getting on my nerves. Oh. Whoo, honey. Lord have mercy. Y'all, if y'all could see, let me see if I can show y'all. This thing done spilled on my computer. Oh my God. Can y'all see that? Y'all probably can't. I thought y'all could, but y'all can't. Oh, yes, you can. Look at it. Everywhere. Everywhere. <gasps> anyway, so I got to get it up. But this is the bentonite clay that you use with it. This is the char activated charcoal. You can get any kind of activated charcoal. It's not a specific brand. And the psyllium husk powder. I'm so aggravated right now. And chia seeds. And the lemon juice that you squeeze um, with your tablespoon. Here's your tablespoon. And you need a mason jar. So you have to order your mason jar. I ordered my mason jar from um, from Amazon. And this is a small size. So you should actually get a bigger size than this. Because I have to now get me a bigger size. I'm going to keep this jar. But I got to get a bigger one. Um, a bigger size. So yes, um, Trent said a game. I hope you try this. I need. I hope you get a journal and jot down all the things that um that you are dealing with as you do this detox. Um, you can do this detox with me. But if you order all of the ingredients at Vitacost, um, your price shouldn't be too far from mine. Um, the nature, the activated charcoal was eight ninety nine. The Yerba Prime Mycelium Husk Powder, the 12 ounce was $9.50. The Bob's Red Mill Organic Chia Seeds, which is 12 ounces, um, was $5.39. And the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, the one I just spilled, um, that is $6.69. And you go anywhere like Earth Fair somewhere, that Bentonite Clay is like $8 or $9.00. Um, but by the cause, they carry this healthy stuff all the time. So they don't charge you all these crazy prices. And I got all of this total, $37.78. So it's doable. It's not a whole lot. You understand what I'm saying? This is something you can do um, if you, you know, you got some money coming in, whether it's work or through unemployment or you still getting paid from your job. I know some of you guys are still um, quarantining. Um, so... You can definitely go and get this um, Eucoid plaque, de black plaque Detox and do your thing. So watch this video so you can listen to the measurements um, that I put in to make mine before I drank it. Um, and you'll have your detox and be ready to go. And y'all should document it and tell me. Those that decide to do it, document it and tell me um, how it's making you feel and all that good stuff, okay? I love you, Trendsetter Gang. I hope y'all do this mucoid plaque detox with me. I'm going to keep y'all, I'm going to show y'all my stool because they talk about how it comes out in sheets and I know it's going to be gross, but I want to show y'all because I think this is something you should know and see so you know how good this stuff really works. I've seen a lot of mucoid plaque videos on YouTube and baby. People are getting results and it, it works from what I can see. So now I'm trying it and I'll just give you my um, experience on the mucoid plaque detox. Yeah. So um, without further ado, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also do not forget to click that notification bell so you always know every time I upload a new video. I love you. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for new video. If you would like to support my channel, you can cash at me at dollar sign Landis44 for promotion and business inquiries. You can also email me at trendsetter.com at gmail.com. I love you guys. And <coughs> excuse me. Whatever you do, 
Don't spill the bentonite clay like I did. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's I'm just like trying to figure out how I'm gonna get this up. Lord Jesus, if you don't come right now. Whew. I'm just I'm just frustrated. Like, cause this powder is gonna be like hard to get up. I already know this. Like, I'm not even it's not even a game. I already know. I already know. And don't forget your lemon. You got to have your lemon juice so you can get a half a lemon. I just cut open the, you know, the, I had, you got to cut the other one. It's going to be because you cutting the whole one. So don't worry about that. That ain't nothing to worry about. But uh, that's what I did. Um, and I love y'all. I hope y'all do this. See you on the next video. See you on the next video, Trinset again. Bye.